Hey guys, Jokes10523 back again with another video. Um, this one's going to be another package um, unboxing. I have one package from Madman Entertainment, which should be a pre order that I had, and then I have a parcel from Pop Culture, and I also have. One from EB Games and two smaller parcels in these bubble mailers. So, yeah, to start off with, I'll do this one since I've already half opened it. Um, so, I'd said in um, one of my last videos when I got the Harley Quinn animated series figure that I had another one ordered. Um, that should be with a few other things. I found it weird how they, because one of the other things is a poster and how they put it in like that, like if it got bumped or whatever, I would have bent the poster, but oh well. Getting more paper out. And then on the inside. First thing. First, I'll grab the figure, the Batman one, which is one I'm really, really happy to have, which is of the Riddler, which was one of my favourite characters from the show growing up, which is really, really cool. Um, I think the episode was just called Wacko Toys, maybe it was called something different, but it's where the Riddler like, makes his own toys and stuff, which is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, there's the first item. Next item is another one which I've been looking at for ages, oh well, since it got released. Um, this is my first alien figure, of course, I want to start beefing up a... Um, alien collection so I went ahead and got the gorilla alien figure by NECA which is really sweet there's the other ones you can get on the back there but yeah really really happy to get that and then have I'll open this one up so when I was a child I absolutely loved um, the mad ball shorts that they had, um, I had them all on VHS, I've been trying to find them again ever since, but never been able to find them, but, um, Kid Robot has brought back out, um, a lot of the characters in these mystery boxes, I have five others, I have Fist Face, um, I've got... got Freaky Fullback, I have Bruce Brother and Slobulus, so hopefully I don't get any of them again. If I can get the tape off. Got it. Take it out. Got a feeling on this one might be the screaming me. I might be wrong though. anyway which is skull face with his brains poking out which is really really cool so I didn't get a double I haven't gotten a double yet so that's pretty good especially since they're $20 each and they come with like these little green slime stands sit up on them like that so it's quite cool um, and the rest of the stuff that I got was all um, True Blood related stuff. So the first thing 
is some True Blood coasters. Everything True Blood on the Pop Culture website is really, really cheap. Like, everything that I got to do with True Blood, I think, was below um, $10. So there's one coaster. Another one. Just with the logo. And then you've got a Fantasia and Merlots coaster, which is really cool. I'm pretty sure these were only like $4 or something. Something like really, really cheap. Then I got a Merlots can cooler or can holder, which is pretty cool. It's a nice one so there it is in the box which is quite cool and then the last thing is poster Save this one to the end and get it out. Um, it's a true blood poster, but yeah. Um, the next one is the one from Madman Entertainment. This here should be a wrestling pre order. Um, I didn't, I only got WrestleMania 33 out of the last lot to be released. I didn't worry about Best 2000s or the Monday night after WrestleMania. Um, and the Seth Rollins one, the only way you can get that now is if you pre-order WWE 2K18 from um, EB Games here in Australia, which kind of sucks, but I'll be getting the game anyway, so it don't really matter. And it is, of course, of the new double pack pay-per-view DVD of... Payback and Backlash, which is cool. Um, I'll do an unboxing of the DVDs and that that I get in this. And then the massive box from eBay Games, which should only have one item in it. And if it is what I think it is, it was something that I always wanted, but I didn't want to pay the $90 price for it and EB Games like some pop culture since it is the same company basically is having a massive sale so this year instead of $90 I think I got for about $20 and yeah that is what I thought it was It is the Art of Doom book, which is really awesome. Really, really like the artwork for this, um, and really like the game as well. I've got the was the EV games because I missed out on the collector's edition, unfortunately, but the UAC pack for the game, um, but yeah, Doom was the first, I guess, first person shared game that I ever played, um, the original one, back on PlayStation 1, it confused the absolute fuck out of me, but for that reason, it's a memory for me, like, playing games growing up that I'll never forget, and playing this one again, being older, and obviously this one makes more sense even to know there's not really a story to them. Um, but yeah, 
really happy to get that book. And then the two smaller parcels. This one, actually I'll go this one first. This one is from Sanity. And it is two 4K titles which is for Rise of the Planet of the Apes and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Um, I thought War of the Planet of the Apes comes out this week here in Australia, but apparently it's next week. So, yeah, I really can't wait to watch the new one. Um, I've also ordered the pin from Mondo for War of the Planet of the Apes since I missed out on the poster like I always do. But yeah, the last parcel. So you get this. I want to show the movie first. Which is Kong Skull Island, the JB Hi Fi exclusive steelbook. Absolutely love this film at the cinema. Um, yeah, so I'll do an unboxing of this, and also if you pre-order from JB Hi-Fi, you get this little, like a bracelet thing, I'll show you more in the actual, um, separate unboxing, but, um, yeah, so I'll show you the poster from before. So this was the poster that was in the parcel. It's the cast photo from True Blood, um, season three, and um, yeah, really happy with that. I really need to get a frame for my posters because I've got that many posters but no frames for it. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for a few unboxings of the movies that you see holding the poster down itself, pretty much. So yeah, thanks for watching. But order that I had and then I have a parcel from Pop Culture and I also have up there. Hey guys Jake7523 back again with another video um this one's going to be another package um unboxing I have one package from Madman Entertainment, which should be a print. One from EB Games, and two smaller parcels in these bubble mailers. So, yeah, to start off with, I'll do this one since I've already half opened it. Things I found it weird how they, because one of the other things is a poster, and how they put it in like that, like if it got bumped or whatever. I would have bent the poster, but oh well. Um, so I'd said in um, one of my last videos when I got the Harley Quinn animated series figure that I had another one ordered. Um, that should be with a few other 